Good morning, everybody. My name is Marcos Lira. I'm a UX designer. And uh, I'm here to try to solve the problem for people who want to party. And uh, they go to cities that they don't know. And they end up in places that they don't like. Basically because of music, basically because of, uh, let's say, uh, price range or this kind of thing. I know this because uh, I'm a part-time Uber driver. And I pick up a lot of tourists, so I had this, you know, uh, a lot of these complaints. So now that I have the chance to solve these kind of problems, I, I wanted to do the research and see if, in fact, it was a problem. So let's let's go through it. I'm not sure how this works. Oh, no. Should I use the computer? Okay. Okay, first, uh, my name is Marcos, as I said. Uh, maybe I'm not the most talented, maybe I'm not the fastest, but I never, ever quick. I, I always get what I want, uh, not because I'm cocky, but because I'm really persistent. Uh, the agenda for today, I'm gonna do the problem statement. I'm going to go through the process of knowing if what I think, and I'm assuming is a problem, in fact, it, it, it is a problem. Uh, I'm gonna be seeing the goals of people, their user research, and uh, I'm going to try to build the more, I, 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 I built the most accurate persona based on that research, which was really extensive, and uh, finally the prototypes. Uh, here, a really fast uh, review of the link UX Canvas was, uh, who am I going to serve? I'm going to serve the users, the, night, the nightlife industry, and uh, how to make it better for the user, mainly, okay? Uh, my empathy my diagram is basically uh, based on what people tell, told me during all these trips that I did do, using Uber, uh, driving for Uber, sorry, and uh, people that came all the way to a venue and they, they were disappointed for many reasons, price range, music, whatever, so. That's what we're gonna do, okay? And the game for the user would be uh, to go up to a place that they, ex exactly to the kind of place that they wanna, that they wanna be. So we're gonna help them to achieve that. Um, I did 22 documented interviews. It was a lot more than that, but I was driving, so it was a, a little bit tricky to take, uh, you know, all of the information uh, accurately. But I can tell you that the patterns were pretty clear. Not knowing where to go when you travel, when you're in a city that you don't know, it's really hard to find the exact place that you like to be. Um, getting to a place that uh, you don't like uh, is one of the main pain points. Uh, uh, the type of music is, uh, again, one of the things that they hate, and outdated information. Uh, when I did the comparator analysis that I'm going to talk to you about now, uh, oh, I don't know what happened here, sorry. Okay, let me go back. Uh, after user research, I built my persona, which was pretty much a 22 years old name, uh, All Night Nancy. She's a business student. She, she, one of her goals is to go to Miami for the next spring break, okay, and uh, to have fun. Uh, her frustrations are mainly not to have more time to travel. She wants to see the world. She feels related with uh, Instagram free people, Snapchat, and Nike, which are trendy brands and, 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 and young kind of uh, uh, brands. Uh, okay, my comparator analysis, as I was saying. Uh, believe it or not, uh, it was pretty clear. The tendency was that Google and Facebook is the, is the platforms that people use, like, by far. I thought it was going to be tra uh, TripAdvisor of this kind of, 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 of apps, but it, it wasn't true. They used a lot of Google and Facebook. By far, it's like 38% each, and the other, Cillion, gazillion of, of apps, it's like one, four, five, ten percent. So, mainly, uh, when I did the analysis, I, I found out that the, the, the main weakness that these monsters like Facebook and Google, and Google you, would, you would think that people with so, many info, so much information, they would have accurate information, but they don't have it because they don't, they don't have a life, a specialized feed. 
by the users, okay? So uh, that's one of the, 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 the main uh, advantages that we could have if we can focus on that. Uh, a reliable database and a price range, they're, they're really good. Google, Facebook is not that good, and uh, neither of them are specialized. So I think if we can uh, leverage on the search capabilities of user feedback and user feedback that Google has and social media reach and the user conduct that only Facebook has, Facebook, remember that Facebook knows what you like and what you, what you follow or not, so we can leverage on that. And uh, we, we, we will have an exclusive focus on live updates. So I came with this product, which uh, the name is Lit. Thank you, Nick, for the name. Uh, basically, it's a, a, an app that when you go to the storyboard, and I, I lift <laughs> this, uh, th this, this red hair guy is me. I don't know why I, but yeah, it was me. <laughs> Ladies. A lot of ladies. You know, it's really, it's really sad that there are, there are no fat guys on these kind of apps. I, I hate that. <laughs> They're all thin. What the hell? But well, good. Well, uh, they get to the airport. They're excited. Miami spring break. Woohoo! And uh, they get to the car and they start asking, asking you, where should I go? Where should I go? What the hell do I know? I'm 38. I, know, I don't party that hard anymore. So well, there's this app that's called Lit. They're at the beach. It's really weird that they don't change clothes. I, I guess that, I don't know, the airline misplaced the baggage or something. <laughs> no, no, really, the, the app, the, they, they didn't have the choice to change the clothes of it because, I don't know, to have a sweater in the, at the beach is really, you know. Uh, well, they remember that the driver told them about the, the lead app. They downloaded, they set up, they signed it up, and they, they went exactly to the place that they wanted to go. It's a little bit, you know, uh, compressed storyboard, but you're going to have the idea. So based on this, uh, I built a, a, a user flow that basically would have a cool loading page where you would have a map page. After that, you could choose a venue, tonight report by people, and uh, a venue page, share, and of course, the feedback from the user. That's what we want. We need feedback for the user because that's what is going to feed the the, the app, okay? Uh, this was my shameful B1 prototype. And uh, first I thought that the user should tell me what they like, but after doing the, 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 the user, um, the usability test, uh, people told me that it was like a lot of information and you don't, you're not looking for every, the same thing, single kind of place or the same single kind of music every time that you go out. So you should leave it like for each time you can choose. Okay, uh, so after that I, decide, uh, I designed the style tile. I did like a B2, B3 compressed kind of uh, um, uh, prototype because of the time, okay? Uh, these colors uh, are looking for festive, hot and trendy. And what I got after testing it with six people was uh, energetic, for fun, and nightlife, okay? This is uh, the way that it looks now, and I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of, of my prototype right now. Okay, we hacked uh, Nancy's phone, we're here. She already downloaded the app, she set it up, and uh, she opens it, it's loading. And boom, you have Miami Beach map. Okay, she sees that there's a lot of going on. There's explosion, fire. She finds it exciting. So she goes to a list view. Okay, and she sees uh, a lot of information going on here. She sees all the venues' names. She sees live videos, pictures, whatever. So she wants to go back to the map. And then uh, she sees all these places around, and this one calls her attention because it's an explosion or something, so she finds it really, you know, uh, appealing. Okay, she sees the information. She sees that she can take an Uber ride that would take her 10 minutes. And uh, the cover information, price range, dress code, all of this information is live. She sees a video, she tap on it, she sees what's going on live right now. She sees, she can hear the music, she can see what's going on, what's the vibe on the place, she likes it. She starts to, to tap on the fire, 
because she finds it really good, really cool. Okay, and uh, then she, she keeps scrolling down. She sees that, okay, I can request the Uber here. So she requested, boom, she gets there. And uh, the geotag activates and tells her, okay, great, you made it, you're here. You wanna share it with us? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so she, she shares, uh, she's going to take a picture of her friend. Uh, she can take a picture or, or hold to, to, uh, for a live video. And uh, then she goes and share. And she, she sees the new, the, the, new, the, new, the new image. She sees that now she's part of the conversation for the venues tonight. And uh, she noticed that they charge her $10 when she enters. And it took her 10 minutes, not 20 minutes to get in. So she says, okay, then let me report this. So she clicks on it, and she has a new, a new screen where she says, okay, this DJ Mancia is playing. So, but the thing is that is I paid $10 for, the, for, for cover, so she updates it. The price range is accurate, the dress code is accurate, and uh, it's 10 minutes. What took her to get in, and the vibe, she's really happy with the vibe because it's what she was expecting. And she submitted, and the app uh, thanks her for sharing the information because user is the main thing here. They are the ones that keep the party lit, okay? And uh, she has the choice not to see the, pi the page again if she wants to, but she, she likes it, so. Okay, and uh, yeah, basically that's it. This is my, my happy path for my app, and uh, uh, I'm ready to party. I don't know about you.